what's your nationality? African-American. Uh, African and American. Get that Bible from me right there. Turn to the front of it. The front of it. The second page. Show the second page. Show him that. Look, look at this right here, bro. When you say I'm an African-American, you say I came from these two white men. Leo Scipios Africanus and Amerigo Vespucci. Leo Scipios Africanus, he conquered Hannibal in the Second Punic War and named the continent of Africa after himself because it was called Mizraim, right? And Amerigo Vespucci, he came over here around the time Columbus came over here and took the land from the native Indians and so-called Mexicans, right? And he named this America, that's it. So when you say I'm an African-American, you say I come from two white men. Is that possible? Could be. Yeah, there one and three, no? Could be. That's possible? That's possible. Can two white men have a kid? Yeah. They can? That's homosexuality. Yep. That's against the Bible. Two white men cannot have a child. Oh, no, no, they can't. <laughs> right? Uh, and then, is your, is, is, your father, is your father a white man? He's a so-called African-American, right? right? Look on that sign. Can you, you see that sign, bro? Can you tell me which one of those uh, tribes that you descend from according to your who you are? On the left side, that's our uh, names that were given to us by the slave master. On the right side is actually what the Bible calls you. Can you tell me which one you from? Watch okay. this, watch this. Listen to this. Give me Isaiah 1 and 3. Hey, listen, listen to this right quick. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. Bring it out. The ox knoweth his owner. Let me ask you something, bro. What's an ox? Uh, an ox. ox. It's just a, a form animal. He yeah. just used the pull and plow dumb animal. Bible says an ox know his owner. An ox knows who owned him. Read. And the ass, his master's crib. What's an ass? An ass. What's an ass? A, ass. a donkey. It says a donkey know who his master is. Read. But Israel. But who? But Israel doeth not know. It's, the Bible said the Israelites, those people on that sign, they don't know who they are. Right. In the last days, they'll be calling themselves African Americans. They'll be calling themselves black. Right. Because that brother outfit is black. That's not the color of your skin, right? Where you get the color of your skin is from Genesis 2 and 7. Let me show you. This Bible is your history book. We're going to get into it. I'm going to show you how I know that you guys chosen people. And the reason we in America, in this slavery, is because we disobey God. Watch this. The book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. What color is the dust on the ground? Brown. brown. Different shades of brown. That's why your skin looks the way it looks. Because you different shades of brown. They use black as a term to, to describe us, but that's not our actual color. But they've been using black as a term to describe us since the beginning. Right. Oh, uh, you know who King Solomon is? In the Bible? This is Jesus' great great grandfather. Jesus Christ. This is his great 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 grandfather. Watch what King Solomon said about himself. Alright? In a poem that he was writing to his wife. Watch what he said. The book of Song of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. Bring it out! I am black! What? I am black! Black, but comely. King Solomon said, I'm black and beautiful. That's right. And beautiful. Dark and lovely. Who talks like <laughs> oh, this? Yeah. That's right. Amen. So King Solomon, is, if that's Jesus' great, great grandfather, and he say, I'm what? I am black. black. Who are the Israelites? Because there's people over there in uh, Jerusalem right now calling themselves Israelites. But do they descend from King Solomon? What King Solomon say? I am black. Could those people over there actually be the descendants of Israelites? If King Solomon was an Israelite, could those people over there right now saying they Jews and saying they Israelis, could they be the descendants of this? Let me go to Deuteronomy 28. Do, are you understanding what we're talking about? Hey, how about you, bro? You understand where we're going with this? Do you know your nationality? You know you're Israelite? All right, watch this. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Watch what Moses is telling the Israelites. 
This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So it's a curse of good thing or a bad thing. Is a curse of good thing or a bad thing. Amen. A curse is a bad thing. Yes, so Moses is telling the people in Israel, hey, bro, hey, do you see yourself on that song? Who are you? Right? We yeah. came over here on slave ships. Why? Well, read that from the beginning. Listen carefully. 
and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Into hard bondage, slavery. Again. Again. With ships. How? With ships. You said we came over here in, in slave ships. Check that out, bro. Ain't that's, ain't that's how we came over here? And look at the bottom of that. You see us packed in there like sardines? Yeah. That's, that happened to our people. No other nation of people on this earth can say that happened to them. Right. That they went into slavery packed in, like sardines in the bottom of slave ships. Right. Nobody else can say that. They want to say that uh, the Holocaust uh, with so-called Jewish people came into slavery. They didn't go into slavery. They went to so-called, uh, what's some showers that they, they supposed to have put them to death. Uh, what was it? Torture chambers? They took them to torture chambers and sprayed acid on them. They didn't, and, and they went there on a train. That they, they didn't go there on a slave ship. <laughs> read that, read on. <laughs> With ships. Uh -huh. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Moses said the same way I'm telling you, that's enough, brother. Let's set it down. Moses said the same way I'm telling you it's gonna happen, it happened. And he said we weren't gonna never see our homeland again. You know where we from? Where are we from? So let me ask you this. Is everybody with slanted eyes Chinese people? Why does everybody with dark skin gotta be African? Right. And I don't know. Or East Indian people, right? The people that got the dot on their forehead, yeah. ain't they dark people? Some of them, not all. Some of them right? Some yeah. of us dark, not all of us. Some of us light skin too. We light brown too, right? Yeah. But do that mean we the same people? Got a great question. Oh. question Casey. Casey asked, what are we doing as a nation of people to take back this planet Earth? What are we doing right now? To take back this Earth? This is, this is what the Most High God tells us to do. And this, I'm going to show you what he tells us to do and what we're doing. Huh? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 1. Bring it out. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments. He said we observe and do all his commandments. Which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high. What are you going to do? That the Lord thy God will set thee on high. He said he's going to set us on high. What? Above all nations. So he said if we observe and do all his commandments, he was going to set us on high above all nations. That's, That's right. right. We're not going to be at the bottom no more. So give me Leviticus 21 and 5. Bring it up. This is something that we're doing to show you that we, we actually heard what the, what the Most High said in his words, and we are applying. All right, read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21 and verse 5. Read it out. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Do you see any brother out here that has not naturally gone bald with a bald head? Read. Neither shall they, shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Have you seen anybody out here in purple with a beard shaved off? We keeping that, right? Nor make any cuttings in their flesh. We we had we are brothers who from the same streets you from. We used to get them tattoos and stuff, but we repented. We stopped doing that. Right. That's something that the Most High tell us to do that we can get back our kingdom. That's right. All right. Give me uh numbers fifteen thirty eight. This is stuff that you gotta start applying also. Right. All right. Bring it up. The book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the Israelites according to the Bible. Hey, 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 hey. Our God tells us to speak unto the children of Israel. Rick. And bid them that they make their, them fringe in the borders of their garments. Read it right. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that and bid them they what, hold on, hold on. What's the question, bro? Kabid, kabid be, uh, bid means to command. Okay, kabid, kabid, command them. Not sell? He said, no, nah, he said command the children of Israel. Alright? So what we out here doing, we commanding you right now, bro, to do what? 
an adulterer, somebody who's slothful, who won't work, who's always gonna show up late for work. You can't hire brothers and sisters like that. You must start communicating, yes, but in order to do that, Casey, the Negro must renew their mind. That's right. Because I am not going to hire a thief, KC. You gotta put a Negro in a, in a new environment. You know what I mean? That's how you they renew their mind. Understood, but guess what? This is what God said. First, get me the will of God and get me um, Luke 17 and 21 after that. Come on. The book of Psalms, chapter 40 and verse 8. Bring it out. I delight to do thy will, O oh my God. Uh-huh. Yea. Thy law is within my heart. So God's will is his laws. That's right. It's the Israelites establishing the commandments on earth. Because God's commandments are not being followed. In our community, Casey, what do we have? We got drug dealers. We got gangbangers. We have adulterers. Right. We have thieves. Right. We have liars. Right. We have like uh, idolaters. Right. We have drunkards. Right. We got our brothers and sisters right here on heroin, crystal meth, molly, and all sorts of stuff. No, it's not propaganda, it's truth. Because I myself know many brothers that are on heroin. I, it is a result of the white man. However, we must change. We can't wait for the white man to change us. We got to change ourselves. That's right. And that's what you see here. Because hold on, Casey. Many of us on this side of the poster, guess what? We were adulterers. Right. We were thieves. Right. We were um, um, murderers. Right. We were gangbangers. Right. You think we just came down from the skies in purple and gold? Absolutely not. We must change the Bible. The Bible is what causes us to change our minds, KC. You're telling us that to abide the laws, yeah, I mean, to abide the Lord's laws, yeah, yeah, to abide the Lord's laws and take no action, you know what I mean, just to abide the Lord's laws. No, because when you're keeping, when you're keeping the commandments, that's the works. Your faith is going to, yes, it is. The faith, because the Bible says so, KC. Faith without works is dead. And if you have faith, it's going to prove your work. Let me show you something. Luke 17, 21. Come on. The book of Luke, chapter 17 and verse 21. Bring it out. Neither shall they say, lo, here, or lo, there. Uh -huh. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. So, KC, God is saying that the kingdom of God is within you. But it only starts by what? What's the act? Very good. So you Keeping can't God's law. And then going and helping your brother and sister to do the same. So not being then, KC, listen. Then you can establish businesses in the black neighborhoods. So it makes no sense, KC, as me as a real estate um, agent or real estate developer. I'm not saying I am, but let's say Should I was. Be. I know, I know. But I'm trying to show you something. If I had the ability to, um, to own buildings and so forth and put my people in there, which I plan to do, you're right. But if their minds, KC, are not renewed, listen, KC, just listen. Listen, KC, patience, listen. If their minds, KC, KC, listen, KC, if their minds are not renewed, you know what you're gonna have in that building? You're gonna have shitty diapers in the elevator. Right. You're gonna have graffiti. Right. You're gonna have crack bottles on the floor. Right. Why do I know this? Because I'm speaking from experience, That's Casey. Right. The Come Negro on. has to change their mind. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.